You know what I find ironic? Is Chip and Joanna Gaines own a network and they don't own a TV. <laughs> I posted a video this morning about channel changes and I've gotten back some really good feedback already. So I think I have an idea of what I want to do. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how, how this goes, but I, I'm coming on now. You'll see this next Saturday. I'm coming on now cause this is going to be the beginning of seeing what goes. <laughs> So hang in with me <laughs> and I will see you Saturday. I was over here yesterday and I was pruning everything. Did you know that dogs like pansies? <laughs> My dog gets the biggest smile on his face when I start picking these off because he knows he's gonna get one to eat. This was my little bird bath that sometimes I'll put water in out here. And then I just moved this. It was next to my little fence wall that I've got up and then I moved it again onto grassy area. Well, they can't mow, they can't weed whack around it or any of that. So I thought, you know what, it needs to move. So I moved it into total and complete rock area. And I'm thinking I'm gonna fill that up with flowers. Canopy is holding up well. <laughs> it's, we've had a lot more wind, but finally I think it's gonna calm down some. I'm gonna re be replacing this right here. Look forward to that because it's gonna be really pretty. And then I'm replacing my stalker screen back here. <laughs> and my flowers are so pretty this year. I had a food garden one year and it trapped me. So I don't know if I'll ever have one again. I don't know. This year though might be a good year to do one. This is really beautiful. I mean, this is gorgeous. I just love that color of purple. I have no idea what this is. If you do put a comment in the, in the uh, say purple flower is in the comments. <laughs> There's some pink right there. So I had that little garden thing sitting right here and I just threw some birds, not bird seed, yeah, bird seed right here. I'm gonna see if anything happens because a whole bunch of them had sprouted inside the bag. <laughs> I have no idea what we're gonna get. Hopefully sunflowers. And my little peanut, he <laughs> he's in a shirt because mom groomed him and mom just messed him all up. He had he had poo stuck to him on the butt. And I he's so aggressive that I couldn't do anything about it. So I had to get my neighbor over here. And I got his clippers out and we went for it. Didn't we? But he has an appointment on the 13th to get a real grooming. And she's going to crack up when she sees what I did to him. I first rinse these in cold water and then I rinse them in hot because that way I am conserving the hot. It takes a lot more hot water to rinse the dishes if you have soap on them. So that's my little tidbit. Get in your seat. 
kind of boy. That is such a good boy. So I've lived in the town that I live in for going on five years, and I have never been on this road. So I'm discovering a new way to go, and there you go. So this car wash is the farthest one away from where I live, but I go here because they have a dryer. And it does a fairly good job, and I don't have to dry the entire car, just most of it. <laughs> We're coming at this all wrong. <laughs> Yeehaw, baby. Woohoo! I don't know about anybody else, but whenever I'm in a car wash, I get dizzy. <laughs> if I'm sitting still and the car wash thing is moving around me, it's very disorienting to me. Are anybody else like that? It's 89 degrees outside, folks. That's hot for me. Used to be, I lived in Phoenix and 89 degrees was almost freezing. <laughs> Yeah, so this makes me feel very discombobulated. I try to keep <laughs> staring forward and ignoring what's going on around me. <laughs> Call me crazy! One time I was going through here and I didn't go through here fast enough and it shut off. Because <laughs> they give you a certain amount of time to get through it. You loving this camera angle, people? <laughs> Mariah looks good. Now you can see through the windshield. <laughs> and it's not bug ridden. I have a crack in it at the bottom. I was lifting up the windshield wiper to wipe underneath one day and it snapped out of my fingers and hit the glass and where the windshield wiper a mechanism is that holds the blade, it hit the glass and it chipped it. So now I've got a big old crack starting to move across both sides of the lower part of the glass. So I'm going to have to replace the windshield here in a while. There's today's sad news, guys. Ooh, it says 479 And over here, this one is 469 at the Maverick go figure. Look at what gas station is empty. <laughs> there is no one at these pumps right here. They are all across the street. Lunch. So per suggestion from viewers to kind of share what I do throughout my day. So right now it is eight o'clock at night <laughs> and I'm working right now on these cute little coloring books that I'm making for my junk journal kits that I'm sending out to the world. Ha! Huh? <laughs> Maybe. So the way I created these, I took coloring book pages and just cut them into these sizes here so that the pages are going to fit inside my little book. And they have to be little books because otherwise I don't have a stapler that will staple. I need to get a long stapler if I want to make bigger books. There's our coloring book.
and I put a little page in there at the front. That one. They're all going to go in little junk journal kits. Leave a comment below what you think of those. Just ran these through an air fluffer in my dryer and it actually took the wrinkles out. I'm so happy about that for it being just a little tiny dryer. It's got some great features on it. If you're interested in a dryer, I'll link it in the description below. If you want a small dryer for your RV, it can be vented inside. I just have a nylon over the top of mine in the back. Or you can buy a vent product that can vent into the house. I had one of those in a basement of a house that my husband and I owned. And you have to keep water in it. If you don't, then you end up with lint everywhere. So the nylon works for me. And I just change out the nylon every once in a while and throw a new one. On there. So right now I'm getting ready to do some laundry and I am going through my closet pulling out all the extra hangers and whatnot as well. I have had a very lazy day so far. It's Sunday, June 5th, not January 5th. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I gave the date on my other channel as January 4th, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> Didn't even notice that I had done it wrong until I went into edit. And then I find that that happens more frequently than I would like to think. I know you're saying, why do you roll some things and not others? I don't know, because rolling shorts is, it just doesn't work for me, <laughs> is pretty much how I put it. I love how I fold clothes. It's just, you know, <laughs> I could care less if socks or underwear are ever folded. Why? <laughs> Who's going to see it? Me. <laughs> After I'm dead, I won't care. Right? <laughs> okay. I just took all the hangers out that were loose. Now I have to grab one. That's inside out. I thought this top was really cute when I bought it because of the little pleats in the back. But this is what happens when you put it on. It do, it circles around and it's, yeah, not as crazy about this top as I was the day I bought it at Walmart. But it's there if I need it, right? That's right. I generally don't remove my winter clothing out of this closet. I just leave it here because I end up having to wear winter clothing, believe it or not, on and off throughout the summer because we'll have a cold day and then I have to grab something that will keep me warm. So I just separated the pants from the shirts is what I just did. stuff in there. <laughs> Alrighty. Getting the soap. 
So, so far, the suggestions that I've received back on my little question have pretty much all been the same, which is to do my life or to do whatever I do, cooking, DIYs, just things like that. So, I'll do my best to try to bring you videos that mean something. <laughs> I'll share this little washing day fiasco with you. It's happened more than once. When I first got this washer, you have to put the hose in the sink and then you have to put the drain hose down the drain. Well, I'd hook up the hose to the sink and I would forget <laughs> to put the drain hose in the drain because it used to hang on the side of the washer. Well, the little clip for it broke. So now it's inside the washer and I'm not going to miss the fact that it's not in the drain because it's hanging, literally hanging on the washer itself. But before when it was on the clip, I would forget it was there. Well, you're doing a load of laundry and all of a sudden you're in the spin cycle. And next thing I know, I have a flooded house. Not only have I done it more than once, I've done it thrice, <laughs> three times, but no more, praise God. I like to separate my clothes out to where I only do pants in one load, shirts in another, undies and socks in another because it makes it a lot easier to hang things up on a hanger. So ladies and guys, ladies and guys, it is hot in here. Woo! Summertime. And my air conditioner, it makes it to about the hallway. <laughs> and that's as far as it goes. So I have a fan that tries to pull the air back here. Right now, I've got it aimed right at me. <laughs> the fan, that is. So I tried to use some of that Earth Friendly, I think it's called laundry detergent. It did not get my clothes clean. So I'm back to just using Tide. I've used Tide my whole entire life. I'm 68 and I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Because I keep seeing all these videos about, you know, how the phosphates and whatnot in the detergent is like really bad for us. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Probably is. But I think that's why they have a rinse cycle. <laughs> to rinse all of that out. <laughs> but what do I know? <laughs> I think I have exhausted all the pants. Thank <laughs> you.